Uh, don't you love point and click adventure games? All right, we're back into it with um, uh, part 12 of Kathy Rain Director's Cut. And what a situation we have found ourselves in. Um, yes, so I guess Eileen went to talk to Isaac at the church and he has kidnapped her. That shifty Isaac, he seemed so nice. Oh, all right. Isaac Jeremiah Price, born March 3rd, 1959. The death date is left blank. That's because he's still alive. I mean, I assume he's still alive after the he's tasering. <laughs> he had a key on him. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. Ooh, are they the same key? Let's have a look. Ooh. Hey, these keys are almost identical. They must open different storage units in the same facility. Hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to get out of this. Okay. What's this? Um, go, go, go. Arlene. Let's get these ropes off of you. Come on, Arlene. That should do it. I better go get help before he comes to. Yeah, we call the police all right she's doesn't have a phone because it's the 90s wake up e oh that's so creepy she's catatonic breathing but unresponsive just like grandpa so i wonder if it has anything to do with the flower oh my god Trying to make my phone stand up. I wonder if that has anything to do with the flowers. Um, I guess exit. Go get help. All right, we'll take it from here. Should we bring, what's her name, to the clinic? Eileen. And no, she's not physically hurt. It's just shock. That's all. I'll take care of her. Please, just drop us off at Grandma's. All right, then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. Considering the circumstances, I'm going to refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. But you better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by the station when you've dropped off your friend. We'll need to take your statement. I will. I mean, yeah, she, again, like, she didn't really do anything. She was just trespassing. So I don't know what they think they're going to hold her for. Happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there. Find out what he knows and get to the bottom of this. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not going to wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. Um. She. Um. Okay. Sure. She's burning up. She's fighting it, whatever it is. I'm sorry, E. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. How is she? The same. Don't worry about us. Okay, that's all I need. Good luck out there. All right, let's go find this um, storage facility. No result for that. Nope, couldn't find. Nah, nothing. No result for. Nope, couldn't. I got her fan. Hmm. 
That doesn't need unlocking. A small key with a tag attached, labeled Storage A5. This must open some kind of storage unit. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't you love point and click adventure games? Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. Teleport. No. Here it is. Mm. Oh, I wonder when I get those. And also, if I get them at the end, what's the point? Because I can't see her riding them. Yeah. Okay, so this one says a, key with a, a five. Okay, What's this one okay. storage a six, storage a seven. All right, then it's over here. Mm. Hey, are those the paintings? Where is it? Is that paint thinner? Where is it? Was he trying to uncover something in these paintings? I guess he felt compelled to tell the world how hard he was looking for something. Lunatic. <laughs> I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. Mm, maybe that's so got whatever he's looking for. Um, yeah, I wonder if that works on both oil and acrylic. Uh, yeah. Alrighty. Um, okay. Is that how I exit? Yes. Okay, let's look for this other one, which should be this one here. Aha! So this is Joseph, his grand grandpa storage, you know. Oh yeah, looks like some old, yeah. So that's where grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. Like, surely he's still paying for this, like... Grandma would know about it, you would think. But I think she asked her about it. Do you know what this key is for? This key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. So someone is paying for the storage unit. Because Nothing if the stuff's for. being paid for, any storage owner worth of salt would get those. rid of everything out of there, leave it on the road, or put it in the tip and Empty. rent it out to somebody new. So there's like a charge that's happening on Found Granny's account. Like she's, there's this sounds like she's else. not very good with her finances. She doesn't know about Custody this. Custody appeal form for me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom, right to the very end. <laughs> Pull yourself together, Kathy. This is the tape I found in the storage unit. It's. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. okay, let's have a listen. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log Part 2. August 2nd, 
1981. I've come to believe that the glowing lights are sudden bursts of energy, similar to the static discharge that causes lightning. However, instead of a positive and a negative electric charge, the colliding forces have a uh, dimensional nature. Assuming this hypothesis is correct, the lights would only appear on the edges of the zone. If I can plot enough sightings on a map, I should be able to determine the shape of the area. Mm. When I have that shape, I can find the center. That's where the source must be. That's where I have to go. Hmm. I'll mark the map where I know the lights have appeared. The nature reserve is a start, but I'll need to find more points. Anybody home? Guess not. Locked. Hmm. It's a simple tumbler lock. Looks empty now. They don't actually tell you how to do those locks in this walkthrough that I'm looking at. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just had to kind of guess that. Um, all right, where were we? Um, uh, looking for the painting, so it's this one, I suppose. It's an early painting by Lily Myers. Oh, I don't like this. Sorry, Sue. hidden picture the hell is that her brother oh my god that's nathan he's holding a girl underwater it must be lily wait that doesn't make any sense lily wrote a suicide note so either she planned this or or saw it or she asked her brother to hold her under i knew you were trouble sue i found something it's horrific spare me I invite you into my home, and this is how you repay me? Breaking in here, sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Just look at it. That's your son. That's Nathan. You think I didn't know? What kind of mother you think I am? Wait, you, you knew? For how long? Long enough. Now it's time for the lady with the gun to ask the questions. Okay. Relax. Whatever you want. Good. Now who else knows about this? Why? What are you gonna do? Whatever the hell I want. You just broke into my house. Fine. I'll get out of here. You won't see me again. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll run straight to the police. Um... Please, put the gun down. You're not a killer, Sue. You psychic? You have zero fucking idea what I'm capable of. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. I would never let that happen to him. That's so. 
You already let that happen to your own damn mother. Mm. You expect me to believe you give a shit about us? Mom was different. Believe me. That was a long time coming and I still think about it every day. I have to protect him. <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. So I just got a, <laughs> an achievement cabin favor. So that's how to not do the conversation I if you want to live. Trouble. Sue, I found something. It's horrific. Spare me. I invite you into my home, and this is how you repay me? Breaking in here, sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Okay, I'm gonna skip Just some of this because we already it. heard all this. Long enough now. If okay, good. Um, all right, so now I'm supposed to say. No one. I just found out. Good. Now, we're in kind of a jam, aren't we? How do I know you won't squeal on us as soon as I let you out of here? So, if this is ever like a real situation, you never say you're the only person who knows, or it's the only copy. Always <laughs> make it sound like you have some kind of insurance. Um, okay. That's not my style, Sue. I don't rat people out. Because sneaking in here like this is something a straight shooter would do. I can't trust a goddamn word coming out of your mouth. If this ever gets out, you know he'll be put away. They'll lock him up in some horrible institution. So... Wait, hang on, let me get this straight. Her son, let's assume this was a murder. Her son killed her daughter. And she's just happy to look after him? Really? She's not scared of him at all? I'd be scared of him. Um, I understand you're scared, but I'm just trying to find the truth. I I'm not out to get anyone. I guess we better pray that we don't end up as collateral damage on your way to the truth, Sam. Look, Sue, the only reason I'd ever tell anyone about this is if I really thought Nathan was dangerous. Mm, damn You're straight. Me he's not. That boy wouldn't hurt a fly. What? Except the his only sister. Way he'd done such an awful thing is if his sister pulled him so deep into her world of lunacy, he didn't know up from down. So, you think she made him do it? Of course she did. Just look at the bloody painting. Mm. It's obvious she planned it. Yeah. I guess it would seem that way. Part of me resents her for doing that to Nate. That's the real reason I gave up the paintings. They were nothing but painful reminders of when Lily's misery was front, left, and center. But still... She was my little girl, and I miss her so much. But Nate's all I have now, and I'd rather die than let anyone take him from me. I can help, Sue. I'm sure there's more to all of this. My grandfather knew too, but someone or something got to him when he came too close. You and him are really alike, you know? I, uh, people say that. Where is Nathan now? I just want to talk to him. He took a boat out on the lake. There's this place where he and Lily used to go. An island. Okay, how can I get there? There's another boat down on the dock. A bit shabby, but you can probably fix her up. I'll give it a shot. I'm gonna walk out of here now, Sue. Go, before I change my mind. I'll talk to my boy if you must, but don't come back in here. I don't trust myself right now. You take care of yourself, Sue. Christ, that was close. Also, you died. <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like another of Nathan's drawings. He must have dropped it here. Ooh. Could I come down here before? Sounds 
sad looking thing. I'd be surprised if it even floats. This is very creepy looking lake. Still, it'd be nice to live on a lake. As long as there weren't too many mosquitoes. All right, let's see here. Oh crap, the tank's empty. I'll have to find some kind of fuel for that, which means that I need to get my hands on a gas can first. Looks like one of the spark plugs is busted too. I'll take that with me. Hopefully I can find a matching replacement plug somewhere. I'm impressed that she knows so much about boat engines. Man, I wouldn't know what a broken spark plug looks like. <sighs> I guess she's like got a motorcycle and everything, but just because you've got a bike doesn't mean you know how to use it. I mean, how to repair it. Such a bad name. Hey, you're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Oh, and I'm really sorry about that locker thing. Huh. I was getting some serious high school flashbacks in there. But I get it. You were looking out for your friend. I was. But look, how about you and I go grab a sandwich or something when all this is over? Really? You mean as a date? Yeah. Uh, I'd, I'd love to. Sounds great. Okay. Uh, let's figure out the details later, all right? I shouldn't keep the sheriff waiting. Sure thing. See you, Lenny. Don't play people like that. That's, that's just, that's not right. Let's talk, Sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus, I had my suspicions about that church, no, but I never you thought didn't. it was this deep. Yeah. You said you'd so, like to go there. What now? What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's a fine church. I go there myself every Sunday. I just face palmed myself. I'll call the judge and get a warrant. We find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay, can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. I don't need my new boyfriend to come with me. <laughs> oh, so apparently I don't even have to talk to him. Ugh. Quick stab him with the mop. I'll just borrow this for a while. Where am I gonna get a spark plug right. from? Feels empty. I'll have to get gas elsewhere. I find it so funny that they call petrol gas. You do know gas is a, like, what do you call it? Is a gas. <laughs> gas by definition is, um, not in liquid form. That's gas. Gas, liquid, solid, solid. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna Hello see what again, he says. My child. Oh, jeez. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Sure. I don't buy Speak it. what you will. I have all the time in the world. You sure do, because you're going to prison. Am I supposed to be talking to him? Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child. You look only to the surface, and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh yes. Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. Alright, I think I'm going to come back here later, so... Farewell, my 
I just can't stand listening to him anyway. He's so gross. Alright. Let's get out of here. There, so there is some kind of teleport. So maybe it's just on the exit. Exits. Okay, girl, time for you to do your part. Good thing I topped you up at the gas station this morning. <laughs> also, I need okay. to use the toilet. That should be enough. So apparently I can get a sparky from here. That doesn't oh. take Okay. <laughs> that doesn't take spark plugs. I have a strict no spark plug rule. Hmm. Let's I mean they probably have rules about like explosives and Aha. Same plug size. Flammables. I'll take a good spark plug and throw away the busted one. Uh, sure. Let me just go buy a lawn first. All lawn and no brains is the achievement. Like, seriously? It's so random. No one, like, you just... Uh, who would just naturally get that achievement? Nobody, that's who. When I put achievements in my game, they're gonna be logical. <laughs> Oh no, I was supposed to look at ah, supposed to look at the scout uniform. Oh, back I go. Looks like an old boy scout uniform. Guess grandpa was involved back in the day. Oh wait. Didn't Jimmy's note on the back of the photo say something about being in a troop before they were men? That's gotta be the Boy Scouts. It says Camp Parowan on a patch here. Parowan Peak is a local clifftop not too far from here. Mm. Could Jimmy have hidden Grandpa's metal box somewhere in that area? Mm. I don't remember all this. Uh, okay, I think we might leave it there for now. And um, we'll um, continue on with the mystery in the next part. Catch you later.